Welcome back. This section of the show is our community resource partner. And I have a little confession to make. I play in a small rock and roll band called Silverback. And we play for not-for-profits and for charities. And the money that would go to the band uh, or entertainment goes back to the, uh, the charity. Uh, so we play for free. And in November, we're playing for the Human Development Institute. And I really didn't know what that was. <laughs> so I thought I'd check it out. And our next guest is Ms. Christina Espinoza Bard. And you are the, make sure I get it right, Community Education Director for the Human Development Institute at the University of Kentucky. You got it. So tell me, what is the Human Absolutely. Development Institute? Absolutely. So the Human Development Institute, we call it HDI. We are the University Center on Disability for the state of Kentucky. And so what we do is work to promote the inclusion, the independence, and the full contributions of people with disabilities and their families. Okay, now you do research and you do some practical stuff right, too. Right, right. We really do that through education and training, through research and evaluation, uh, through information sharing, uh, through advocacy and leadership across the state and, and on some national projects as well. So give me, give me some examples of things you do. Sure thing. So we have about 55 projects and we work with people across the lifespan. Uh, some of our research is, is around quality of life for people with intellectual disabilities. Uh, we have a large grant right now working uh, to help people return to the workforce post-injury. So we do research across most of the, the contracts and grants that we, that we run. Um, and some of the direct service, so one of my projects is our, our Regional Assistive Technology Center. And so it's called HDI CATS, uh, Center for Assistive Technology Services. And uh, we're part of the CATS Network for Kentucky. We're one of five regional centers. And we have a lending library of assistive technology devices for anyone from the community to come uh, loan. So similar to a library structure, uh, it's free uh, for 30 days to come kind of identify what might help be more independent. We also have a project from there where we uh, refurbish durable medical equipment. So things like wheelchairs, shower benches, toilet seats, and we're able to give those back out to people for free. And so there's an inventory that's all searchable online and people can come utilize that from the community. Okay, now if people want to, to, to help or, or, or get involved, obviously I guess money. Right, absolutely. Um, so we try to stay fairly nimble so that we can respond to funding priorities as they come up, you know, both at the national and state level. Um, but uh, to have some donations, monetary donations are always helpful so that we can be more nimble in responding to the needs of our communities. You speak about needs. If people need to access the Human Development Institute, right. How do they do that, and who who would access it? Oh, right. So it could be family members. It could be anyone interested in continuing education. Um, we all touch disability in all of our lives and practice. So we provide training, even from uh, initial disability awareness, all the way through more specialized trainings to professionals as well. Uh, we also have a couple of uh, certificates that we offer through the university. Um, we're not an academic department, but we have a graduate certificate in developmental disability and an undergraduate certificate in universal design. Uh, so. Uh, all of this information is, is available on our website, hdi.uky.edu. All right, tell us about the gala real quick. Okay, yeah, absolutely, the gala, November 2nd. It's going to be held at the Gatton Student Center Ballroom. It's going to be really fun. We have an excellent band uh, that is very luckily free of charge, <laughs> uh, and we're going to have a silent auction. We'll have a dinner, uh, cash bar, and, and it, it's going to be a good time. Well, great. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for doing what